the NXP and the, hello, so who are you? Hi, uh, I'm uh, Rudan Bettelheim from NXP and I'm responsible for the uh, Made for iPod uh, accessory program at NXP, particularly uh, the HomeKit accessories and the HomeKit software development kit, which we are showing here. So this is, what is this? Okay, so this is a development uh, system for uh, HomeKit, uh, which is using uh, Bluetooth Low Energy Transport, and then we're using a uh, processor that does the control of the application. And what we have here as an example is showing a, uh, an RGB LED light bulb where you can control the color and the brightness. Uh, and then also we have uh, the Schlage Log, uh, which has been available on the market for uh, about a year and is based on an NXP microcontroller and uh, HomeKit software development kit. And our Bluetooth Low Energy, is the ARM Cortex M4 solution? Uh, yes, ARM Cortex M4. Uh, our uh, HomeKit software development kit will also support uh, the ARM A cores, like on the i.mx uh, family. Um, one of the good things with uh, HomeKit is that uh, it's been designed with really good security from the ground up, and you can also use Siri to control the uh, various accessories, which, uh, although this is not a good environment uh, for uh, voice, I can show that working for you. But the, the, the HomeKit stuff, does that work with Android also, or it's no, only for iOS? No, HomeKit is by Apple, and uh, only you for need Apple to devices. use iOS devices. Uh, but the HomeKit accessories are available from a wide range of different suppliers. So the uh, NXP HomeKit Software Development Kit enables uh, various other companies to make uh, accessories like locks and lights, light switches, garage door openers, uh, window coverings, uh, thermostats, security systems, and a bunch of others that I... And here, the NXP booth, uh, you have some... Uh, what, what are the other things that are over there? Okay. Go look? Yeah, so... So we have right here, we have a point of sale solution. Yeah, sure. Uh, do, you, do you want me to talk, talk, talk yeah. to you about this uh, point of sale solution? So. Um, I work out as a solutions architect for payment and access, and uh, one of the things we have uh, launched is this device that it emulates a payment terminal. So there's actually a lot going on between a payment terminal and the card. So I'm going to go through a couple of demo scenarios. So here you can see we have a user interface where you can say you want to make a payment and you enter an amount. And I'm going to put a low value amount uh, here. So I'm putting a $5.55 and it's saying to insert or tap card. And I'm going to uh, do the transaction. Oh, it didn't go through. <laughs> okay. So uh, let me... Uh, reset the board here, see if that fixes it. But what I was trying to show is um, the, the payment transaction for a low value amount. There's actually preset rules in the card and the terminals uh, to determine whether or not the, the payment transaction should be accepted. So NXP is one of the leaders in these kinds of cards, right? Supplier yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of technology that goes into the payment system. There's uh, cards with security, there's payment terminals with security, and this is uh, one way for us to demonstrate concrete examples uh, for secure embedded applications. And uh, this is a development kit? Yes, so if you go to nxp.com and search for SLN POS RDR, you can uh, get more information about this development kit. And so uh, this is uh, just one of our solution products that's available. All right. And what, what's over here? Okay, we call so, uh, what are you looking at here? We're looking at a modular IoT gateway. Yeah. 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 Um, so, can, can you show what, you, what this okay. is? Just a, let me it. Yeah. Just give me a minute. Okay. So, it connects a um, multi protocol edge okay, good. to cloud ask connectivity. Just ask Gateway. All right. Welcome to Alonzi's Gateway demo. Please tell me your ball. So this is voice commands? So, um, yeah, this is a modular uh, gateway from NXP, and it has connectivity for Zigbee, Thread, Bluetooth, uh, all the different protocols. And right now it is connected with Zigbee bulbs uh, over Zigbee. Yeah. And then we have a mobile application which can control this gateway. We also have Alexa application from where I can turn things on and off. For example, what are you using for the voice? So we are we are using uh, Amazon uh, Alexa. So this right. is an Alexa app. That's just an app on iOS and Android. Yes, it is an app on iOS. You can also 
do it using Amazon Echo kind of device. So. All right, yeah. the connection is, uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, maybe interference around here. And what is this? So, this is like, as, as this one is used for developing the gateway, this can be used for developing the devices. It has again modularity with two uh, slots on it. And then you can uh, decide which connectivity you want to use in one slot and which uh, sensors you want to use in another slot. And then build your uh, platform for proof of concept. All right. Uh, what is, is what kind of arm is in here? So this is arm uh, arm arm seven arm v seven. All right. Based IMX six UL. Uh, IMX six duo in there. All right. Yep. And uh, this one, yep. we're talking about here. Hello. Yeah. Sure. So, so Clark Jarvis with NXP. So we're showing here is we have a uh, at NXP we have multiple. Uh, portfolios of processors that are based on the Cortex M4, and so we're showing off the software that engineers will use to develop on those boards. Um, so it's just, what is this software? This is a web-based utility that lets the users go in and actually do the pin mux configuration. So they can go in and say, hey, there's, there's 100 pins on the board, but they each have 10 different uses, and so he goes in and allows them to say, I'm going to use this pin as this, and this pin as that. So what, what pins are you talking about here? Yeah, so if we look at this guy right here, so this is the main processor we're talking about, and you see, after we get this, probably has 144 some pins on it, but each one of those pins has 9, 10 different use cases, and so it becomes a complicated issue for the engineer to actually go in and say, can I get a configuration that actually works? How do I manage all these pins? And so we have a way Web utility. It's also available as a desktop utility that lets them configure that. They also go in, they can specify all the clocks and the peripheral settings that they need to, and then we generate code they can then feed into this SDK so they get a foundational set of libraries that they use, and then an IDE tool as well to compile that in. And this works with all your uh, your boards? All, all the, the, all of the uh, Cortex M4 each of the parts. So the two uh, portfolios that we're talking about are the Kinetis portfolio, the Kinetis portfolio and the LPC portfolio. Mm -hmm. Here. Yep, we'll go there to get more information on it.